Before we begin, click subscribe to stay up to date with all of our newest video content. The technology tip for today is how to use copy and paste in Acumatica ERP. Acumatica provides the copy and paste function in a large number of its data entry and maintenance screens. Once you become familiar with what you can do with this functionality, you can save a lot of time taking advantage of this feature. We're going to start by looking at how we can save time using copy and paste in some of the transaction screens. We'll look at the journal entry transaction, the AP bill, and the sales order entry. Here we are on journal transactions, and we have a journal entry that has 150 rows of data in it. But we made a mistake. We posted it to the wrong period. So we've reversed it already, and now we need to put this entry into the correct period. You probably know already you could export it to Excel and then import it back in again, but we're going to use copy and paste. First, we'll copy this journal entry. Then we'll start a new journal entry and paste it. Now when we paste it in, we have a copy of the original, including the incorrect period. So let's correct that. And when we post it, it's an identical copy with the correct date. Here we have a bill, and everything about it is correct except the account number got entered incorrectly. And so we have reversed this already and applied it, applied the debit adjustment to this bill. So both these are now closed. And we want to copy this and make our correction. So we'll copy, start a new bill, paste in our copy, put the vendor reference back in, and change our account. And when we're ready, we can release it. One thing to notice before we leave the AP bill, when we paste it in our bill, the vendor came from the copied bill and was not editable. When we paste in an AP bill, we can't change the vendor. We're going to look at sales order now. And here we have a sales order for food purchase for an event. And this is a standard thing that our company does a lot of, is providing food service for an event. And so we're going to copy this. We have a new sales order, a new order that came in for a new event. And so we're going to paste this, similar to what we've done before, but notice our customer can be changed. So that's special functionality in the sales order that lets you set up standard sales orders and copy and paste them in to create new sales orders and including changing the customer. Next we're going to talk about how to use copy and paste with master file records. In this example we're going to take a customer and copy it from our production tenant to our test tenant. So here we are with our list of customers in our demo tenant. And we have a new customer that's not in our test tenant, and we want to copy it there. So we access our new customer. We copy it. When we go to our test tenant, we don't see a new customer here. But when we create one, notice that paste is not available to us. And the reason for that is because this is not an automatically a numbered identifier. So we have to key in the name of our tenant. When we copy, when it's not an automatically generated ID, we need to copy in whatever we're going to call this in our new location. And when we tab out of here, notice that we can now paste the information from our demo tenant. So copy and paste to master files would work for customers, of course, and vendors, but also things like items, warehouses, and other master file objects. 
And lastly, we're going to talk about copying a generic inquiry and use the copy paste function to save the work that you're doing to keep it from being damaged while you're building it. Some generic inquiries can get quite complicated. Building them can take some time, and often trial and error is used to get the settings just right so that your results are correct. So before you make a major change to a generic inquiry, I recommend that you make a copy and paste a backup version. And similar to our customer a moment ago, we need to give this a name and paste in our GI so that we have now a backup of our GI so we can work on our original and continue to develop it. And if we make a mistake, we can just come to our backup and use it. Well, that's it. Easy peasy. Was this video helpful? Click subscribe to see more videos like this one. Thank you.